Sentvertising splatter graffiti and digital peep shows. Today we hunt retail innovation. Welcome to trendhunter.tv. You hunt the trends, we put them on TV. Now the Verizon Wireless Top 10. And number 10, Orange kicks off our list with gesture-based window shopping. Scroll through the latest tunes, watch movie trailers, buy more stuff. At nine, Fiat teaches us it's okay if your store looks like it's from outer space. At number eight, Uniqlo broke into New York with shipping container stores. Reebok took the concept further by creating Reebok Flash, a pop-up museum store. At number seven, Green Architecture. From the outside walls to the inner hallways, this Korean retailer is a living example of the green dream. At number six, employees steal stuff, which is why you need a store made entirely of vending machines. Alternatively, create a virtual store like Zoomi, an online bookstore. At number five, located in an upscale suburb of Melbourne, this cardboard store was actually inspired by the slums of Madrid. At number four, a tie. Big retailers are baiting you with sanfortizing, while Lamborghini is baiting you with women. I wonder which one works better. At number three, no store is just a space that offers artisans one week of retail presence. At number two, retail art. Nike Mexico launched with live performances from eight of the hottest local Mexican artists. Raph Simons took the concept a little further by completely vandalizing their own store. And at number one, shamelessly trying to get your attention, Elle McPherson's little storefront is actually an interactive digital peep show. Now for today's video of the day. To start, on an LED catwalk, the customer assumes a digital jogger. At the same time, sensors register all the characteristics of his feet and the way he runs. From these data, a perfectly matched shoe is designed. This episode of TrendHunter.tv was brought to you by Verizon Wireless and the new BlackBerry Storm.